I'm going to assume that you've actually looked at the modules. So I'm not going to go through the entire setup process, all right? Because really, it's all in the modules. I'm just going to be repeating myself. But a couple of interesting things to recognize. So the way to think about variations is um, parent and child. So you have a parent, which in our situation, for the example I'm going to do for you, is men's sweatpants, okay? That is the parent, men's sweatpant. And then the variations, or what Amazon calls childs, is the different varieties of men's sweatpants. So, color-based variations. So here, we're on the, uh, what's that? I don't know, maroon. And notice the maroon has got its own ASIN number just there. And now if I go to the black, it's now got a different ASIN number. If I come to the granite, that's got a different ASIN number. If I go to granite, medium, that's got the same. All right, so some of the um, variations will require a new UPC code and some won't, which is confusing as can be, okay? But you'll get that information from Amazon. But generally speaking, the way generally Amazon puts that together is for the first level of variation, so in this case, it's color, for instance, because we're going gray sweatpants, uh, you need a new UPC code for that. Second level, size, you won't. That's generally speaking how Amazon puts this together, okay? There are, of course, exceptions to that. So let me just pause my screen while I pull up something so I can show you some, how to do this. Central, here we go. Inventory, add a product. Here you go. Uh, okay, so you'd have seen this already. When you're adding a product, you guys know how to do this already. Uh, so this is going to be under, it's uh, men's, oops, oh, I'm going to do, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon, of course, you idiot, Neil, because we're going to create our own private label product, of course, aren't we, okay? So that's what we're doing, we're own, our own private label product. So we're going to be in the clothing, shoes, and jewelry, and then we're going to be in the men, and then we're going to be in the clothing, and then we're going to be in the active, I believe, that sounds right. And then we're going to be in active pants. Another way of doing it, sweatpants. That's our category. And you can see the way I got to that was just kind of going, where am I going to get to? What am I trying to get to? But there's another way you can get to that. You can just look here. That tells you the category breakdown that Amazon has put that together, okay, or this particular person has, whether that's Amazon or not, I don't know. That's another way of getting to the same thing I've just done, all right? But I believe what I just did, if I'm selling sweatpants, is actually better than what they just did, which is odd, but there you go. Anyway, so that's, I believe, what I just did was the right way of doing it. I'm surprised. Ah, running, I suppose that's all good. Anyway, whatever. So, Product name, you guys know all this already. I'm not going to go through all of this. That's just craziness, all right? Variations is what we want to go for. Variations. So now, the variations I can set up. I've got lots of different variations. Now, not all products are eligible for variations. Not all of them are because not all products require variations. But those that do, awesome. That's what you do. So I'm going to do a variation based on color because I'm going to sell uh, black sweatpants. I'm going to add that as a variation. Bum, bum, bum. I'm going to sell blue sweatpants. I'm going to add that as a variation. And I'm going to sell red sweatpants. Add that as a variation. So now, under my main one, under my main listing, which you have to set up, uh, I've now got three different variations, black version, blue version, red version of the same. 
And it's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Now, there are a few nuances to this, which we could go a little bit deeper. But essentially, what we know already, based on what I've already told you, is that Amazon treats the variation as a separate standalone product under the umbrella of another product. So that means all the reviews, all the sales history, all the potential sales volume, so the potentiality of it, uh, that all rests within the parent and the child's are seen to have um, access to that as well. So that, that's kind of trickle-down effect. Uh, anything else I want to say about that? I don't think so. Uh, only other thing I would say as well is that Amazon treats each child separately for SEO. So if I've got red sweatpants, my red sweatpant variation can show up on its own. If I've got green sweatpants, then my green sweatpant variation can show up on its own. Okay. Hope that makes, makes sense. It's a nightlight. All right. Well, I'm sure. I don't know if that's got a variation or not. I've got no idea. But given that it has, then you'll be good to go, mate. Hey, thanks so much for watching that video and I hope that you got some massive value from it. Before you go, do you live in Australia? If you do, this is for you. Would you like to learn how to sell things on Amazon here in Australia? Would you like to know what sells really, really well and what sells for the maximum amount of profit? Would you like to know where you can source those products from, whether that be in China or here in Australia and how to source them so you pay bottom, bottom dollar and get maximum value for what you're doing. If you do, please subscribe to my channel and like this video and you'll learn that and much, much more. It's the exact same information that people like Jeff from New South Wales I've used to make $45,000 a month on Amazon that Sue, who's from the sunny coast, has used to purchase herself a brand spankly BMW every single year as a result of her e-commerce business. And the lovely Kate from Barrel in New South Wales has used to make $32,000 a year on, uh, sorry, a month, not a year, a month on Amazon. And indeed, Anthony, who makes $15,000 a month on Amazon, selling, as he puts it, odds and sods. If you'd like to learn the exact same inf information that they use to maximize their profits for their Amazon businesses, subscribe to this video, like my channel, and um, post below if you want me to teach you something. Okay, I'm out of here. Speak to you soon. Bye. Subscribe. Subscribe. Do it now.